Okay, so today is a pretty exciting day. We get to finally start the IVF process, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> We're going to be doing a baseline ultrasound and some blood work, I think. So they're just going to go in, check and see if my follicles look okay, if my um, if they're like the right size and everything to actually start the medication. They're also going to do like a teaching visit. So they'll show me how to mix the medications and then how to administer them. I think I'm going to be the one that's like actually mixing the medication, but my husband's going to actually stick me with the needle because I don't know if I can do that myself but I'm really excited I'm really hopeful and I'm just trying to be as optimistic as possible I know there's so many things that can go wrong and I'm just I'm hoping that everything goes right I'm so excited that this is actually finally happening I've had I mean I really love my office I love my nurses I love my doctor everyone's really good communication not so much in a sense um there's times where things have been pretty good, but there's times where they haven't. I've been waiting weeks for like insurance approval and I found out that my, ins well actually first I called my insurance to see how the approval was going and they were like, we don't have any record of, you know, them putting in an order and I was like, really? So I called the office and they're like, sorry, we made a mistake. We are going to, we put it in the order today and we should have it ready by next week. Well, next week came around the end of next week and I messaged them and I was like, hey, you know, just wanting an update. And they're like, oh, actually you don't even need insurance approval for IVF. So you're good to go. So I was like waiting an extra three weeks to a month to actually start this process when I could have started a while ago. Um, I'm really not that mad about it. I'm frustrated, I guess you could say, because there was just some miscommunication and whatnot, but I think we're going to be starting, like I said, today's baseline ultrasound, and we're going to check how many follicles they can see right now, and then I believe if everything looks good, I can stop taking the birth control, and I can... In three days, yeah, three days I'll be starting the medication, I hope. So that would be this Thursday. All right. Okay, I'm gonna keep driving, pay attention to the road. But yeah, I try to get some footage while I'm in there. I don't know if they're gonna let me film it. There was one time I asked and they weren't really comfortable with me filming anything, but I'm hoping that they'll let me do it this time. So we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. <laughs> a question it can't wait another day don't feel like it's all in vain i try to remember it ain't a race breathe out it doesn't matter anyway breathe in it's about happiness in the end take a slow watch the road stop driving myself in Settings real quick. Okay. Alright, so lining first, which is this right area in the middle. It's a little on the thicker side, about 7.6. That just lets us know whenever you start your stop your birth control, mm -hmm. you'll probably have a heavy period. Okay. okay. If you don't, it's okay, but so I'll let you know just in case. That way you're not surprised. So a little bit of pressure here. I'm trying to get to your ovary on the right side. Um, just try to play it for me. Looking good, they're all nice and small follicles, and that's what we want to see. 
All righty, so whenever you're done, just come out here. We're going to go to room five. Okay. And we're going to show you how to do the inverse. Okay, okay. sounds good. All right, thank you so you're much. Welcome. So, I'll show you, let's show you Gone Left first. So, Gone Left is a pen. It's going to be refrigerated, okay? Um, so, this one actually has some in it, okay? So, you'll see, like, the solution is here. So, this one hasn't even been used yet. So, it'll have 900 units in it. Okay. okay? Your dose is 225. Okay. That means, without changing the dose, if we don't change the dose, each pen should last you four doses. So you're going to first off tell the pen how much your dose is. So right now it's at zero. You're going to move it to 225. Okay. Right. If you go a little too far, that's okay. You can go backwards. Go backwards. Mm -hmm. All right. They come with these little needles. You just open it up so you have a little needle at the tip. And we'll just push her and twist it out. Okay. It's up. Okay. So we need to draw up the liquid to mix into the powder. So we're going to use the key cap. So pop the tops on everything, Sorry. It's okay. and then you're going to clean, right? I do it with the, if you have just one little alcohol bump, just on the corners of okay. each one. And then we're going to just, it has a little uh, plastic piece, not a needle, but you'll just puncture that, okay? Now we're going to pull out one milliliter, so you have to start three powders. Okay, right? one milliliter. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that if I just screw this on and try to pull something out, it kind of pulls back. Mm -hmm. Either way will work if you want to make your life easier. It doesn't matter how much, just push in a little bit of air, right? So that something has to come out. Does that make sense? Like it doesn't pull back so much. Take my first powder, right? I puncture it and then we inject, okay? We want to mix it while it's in the little vial. So you don't have to shake, you know, shake it, it up. It mixes very easily, just a little whirlwind there, I think it says. You turn it upside down to pull it all out. Okay, pull it all out. Okay, we're gonna get another. Okay. Now this is where. Okay, see those little bubbles? I'm not gonna tell you those. I'm gonna leave them. I got a call <laughs> this weekend that she was like, I just can't get the Medicare bubbles out, and I was like, just watch. They're just gonna happen. Um. So then you just close, this is what I call closing the gap, right? Mm -hmm. Go slowly or you're going to squirt your medicine everywhere. So I'm going to hold it in a little bit. Okay, it's ready to go. Any questions or things that you want to say? Okay, I just got out. Everything went really good. They said that my lining looks good. They didn't count how many follicles I had. They said they won't do that until after like my first ultrasound when I've been taking the medication. But everything looked good. They didn't see any cysts, nothing that would make it so that I couldn't start. So I'm um, stopping birth control today. And then Friday, Friday's the day that we're going to be starting the medications. We did a teaching visit. I got some footage of that. I'll put it in here so you guys can see. But they basically just went over the medications. They told me how to mix them, how to inject them. I pretty much already knew because they showed me some videos beforehand, but um, having that like actual teaching visit was really helpful too. I am so excited and so happy. Everything has been so amazing. My nurses are so, so, so amazing. They've been nothing but helpful. I know I've probably been driving them crazy because I'm constantly calling with questions and asking things and I've just been so confused with this whole process, but they have been so nice and so sweet and they've just answered any question that I've had and they've just been amazing. I know that we had that like little setback where the insurance thing, but that wasn't even their fault. That was kind of like the financial department, not even them. So yeah, okay, well, I'm so excited. I was so nervous going in there. There was this woman in there and she had like her little daughter with her. She was maybe two, if that. And she's like, how long have you been trying? And, um, you know, trying to talk to me. And I was so, like, I answered her questions, but I was so nervous and I was so scared for my ultrasound and just like what they were gonna say that I like barely could even talk to her. I was like, oh God, she probably thinks I'm rude, but I was just, I was really nervous. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go home and relax, tell my husband how the appointment went, and I guess I will check in with you guys again once I actually start doing the medications, okay?